Hello everyone. In this video, we'll see how to run the scripts in the QTP and how can we debug those scripts while running in the QTP. Okay, so let's go to the QTP tool and I have opened this recording script script that we have recorded earlier. So let's run this script. Okay, click on the run option then see the run dialog box gets opened. So this will show you the option to store the run results. Where do you want to store the run results? The option displays the default path that is where your test is actually saved. So it will create a subfolder with the name res and the number gets suffixed to it. So the number is incremented for each run. So let's say if you execute this step for the second time, it will show you the res2. The second is the temporary run results. It will store the results in the temporary file and this option overrides any results previously saved in this folder. So well, it is recommended that while developing your test script, choose the temporary option and once your script is finalized, then you will select this option. Let's run with this option and press on the OK button. Now the script is executing. You see here the yellow marker pointing is up here. It is pointing at the step which is currently executing. See now it went to the second step, third step. So it will show you which step is currently executing in the running mode. So this is how your script is executed. See the script gets executed successfully. That's why the editor becomes the editable mode. Now let's go to the our script and see here the res1 folder gets created in the recording script path. Okay. Now select this report. All the reports, all the results are stored here. We'll discuss this when we'll talk about the results option. Okay. So this is how you can run the test in the QTP with the different results option saving option. Okay, now the yellow marker thing. Okay, if the options and within the run, the normal mode is selected over here, then only that execution marker is displayed when your script is running. Otherwise, if the fast option is selected, it will not show you that execution marker. Okay, so whenever you want to debug your script, just select this option, the normal mode and press the OK. So this is how you can run the script with that marker appearing on the each step which is currently executing. Now, if you want to debug the test, okay, there is an option to apply a breakpoint on the step. How? Just click against the step. Click here. See the red icon gets appearing over here. It means your script will get paused if the pointer comes into the third step now let's see this option okay just run here and press run with the default option press ok a script is currently executing now see the script gets paused and the run option gets enabled here when the script is executing it will not enable this run option it means the script gets paused at this location now if you want to run for the another steps you can just press run option okay now if you want to apply the breakpoint on another point just click on this and again run now the script will get paused at this location so this is how you can apply the breakpoints on the tc again the script get paused at this location now run the step so that your test gets completed okay so this is how you can apply the breakpoints where you want to perform any operation when you want to pause your script okay now see the script gets completed okay so this is how the breakpoints works into the QTP now let's say there is some variable defined into your script let me define some variable with the name variable 1 equals to demo okay now I want this variable to get displayed at the runtime its value gets displayed at the runtime how can we do that okay let's put the breakpoint over here and run our script okay with default settings and so script is running with the default settings okay it will get paused where the breakpoint is applied 
okay so see the breakpoint now if you want to see the value of this variable okay so how you you can see that you can just select the variable and press control t now see the variable gets listed into your debug viewer pane the debug viewer pane gets listed and within the watch tab the variable one is listed now it is showing that variable is undefined why because till now the variable is not initialized okay let's put the breakpoint here then run the script see now the demo value appears here here because before this step our variable is initialized that's why it is showing the value of that variable so if you want to see the value of any variable at the runtime you can put that variable into watch by just pressing the control t shortcut okay now in the variables tab all the variables that are defined into your script gets listed the third is for the command tab now this is the tab where if you want to execute the command at the run time it means if you want to execute the command when your script is already running you can pass the commands over here see i have passed the command before you can clear it from right click and the clear option now let's say i want to perform this step from command here so select this then paste it and just press enter now see that command gets executed so from here you can execute any command let's say i want to change the value of my variable so you can do it from here variable let's say the change is change okay just write this statement and press enter now go to your watch you see the value gets changed okay now again change for some another value let's say i'll change it with change 2 see to the watch see your value gets changed. so command tab is basically if you want to do something at the run time you can do it from this command tab so this is how you can debug the scripts into the qtp with different options so what we have discussed if you want to run the script in the qtp the shortcut for run is f5 shortcut for stop is f4 then if you want to see the variable value okay see the variable value you can press the control t shortcut okay for debugging purpose if you want to go to the step into you can press the f11 and if you want to do the step over operation you can press f10 so this is how the debugging and the running works into the qtp Thank you.